Stephen King does it again. His legendary book Pet Cemetery has made its way back to theaters once again and the final trailer just dropped. Welcome back to Top 10 Beyond the Screen. I'm your host Joss and I am super pumped for this movie to come out. Can't you tell? Don't forget to subscribe while you're here and let me know in the comments if you're brave enough to go and see this one in theaters. Even if you know this story well, I don't think you're prepared for what's to come in this remake. If you, for some crazy reason, haven't heard about Pet Cemetery, it follows the story of a husband and wife, Dr. Lewis Creed and Rachel, who move from Boston to Maine with their two young children. The couple discovers a strange burial ground hidden in the woods near their new home. Their new neighbor Judd tells them about the cemetery, which unleashes an unspeakable evil that comes with horrifying consequences. The original movie came out in 1989, and this remake is retelling the story for us in just a few days. So let's get to it. I'm I'm going to do a Pet Cemetery final trailer breakdown. Okay, so the trailer starts out with some creepy music as we watch Lewis brushing his little girl's hair in the bathtub. We see that she is battered with bruises and appears to have been outside because leaves are all intertwined in her messy hair. And that's when we see something that made my stomach turn. The father moves some of her hair and we get a close up on her skull that has a bunch of staples in it. What the hell happened to her? The trailer gives us a quick summary as the little girl says, I remember my birthday party and we get a flash back to that day. It's a joyful scene of family and friends gathered around the little girl celebrating a barbecue type party on a summer day in the backyard of their home. The young girl is blowing out her birthday cake candle which is a big number nine. She then says church was out on the road and we see a cute little cat sitting in the middle of the road. Probably not the safest place to sit down and relax. The little girl goes out on the road to get the cat and that's where everything gets dark. A huge semi truck horn goes off as we see it crashing into the girl with the heart horrific screams from her parents who happen to see the accident. We get confirmation that the little girl doesn't make it because we see a quick glimpse of a funeral with her casket being buried. But then the trailer gives us a good mind f because then we see the dad tucking in the little girl at night and he says, it's okay now, we have you back. And she asks, back from where? Lord help me if his little girl is now a ghost and he can see and talk to her. Apparently she's not really a ghost because as the trailer continues, it explains that there is a place that brings things back. We begin to learn that this place they speak of is sinister, sick, and twisted. We catch glimpses of children walking through a forest with different animal masks on and that's where we see the famous sign, Pet Cemetery. We hear a voice say, if you cheat death, there's a price to be paid. So only one can assume that his daughter has technically cheated death if they brought her back. Their brought back daughter doesn't look the same as she did before though. She looks like she is possessed and tries to attack her mother Rachel on multiple occasions throughout the trailer. We also see her do the typical exorcism crawl on the floor which never gets old or any less creepy. The neighbor that showed this family the secret place ends up telling them sometimes dead is better which we quickly realize might be true. We can understand a father just wanting more time with his little girl, but now she's back with vengeance to take out his wife, it seems. The neighbor also explains it's not too late to undo it. So maybe they can re-kill her? Would a parent really be able to kill her child? The trailer leaves us with a final scene of their not so normal daughter attacking her mom while she's lying in bed. It's clear that she has no problem killing her own mom, so whose life is going to be taken by the end of this? We're just gonna have to hit the theaters this Thursday to find out. The movie officially gets released on April 4th, just two days away. Let me know in the comments if you're going to see this one. I know I will be. Stephen King never disappoints. I'm your host, Joss. I'll see you next time on Beyond the Screen.